Hey guys, welcome to another vlog, Aussie Four Wheelers. Here is Jason again, came for a quick visit after picking up his car. He's done the rear bar on his car, as you saw in the previous vlog. So this time he came around to show off and how it looks in comparison to my Jeep with a stock rear bumper. I saw that you were really, really excited about yeah. this rear bar. No, I'm pumped, it looks mad. I think Mark, uh, Mark's done better than expectations even like i knew he'd do a good job i trusted him with it but um i was pretty pumped when i picked it up <laughs> All yeah. mark's exceeded jason's expectations on the original plan of, on how to build this three bar for the jeep because they're not that of a common vehicle so there's not much around available actually really hardly anywhere no it's not much and what is available, it's not to our liking or Jason's liking because he wants to have that departure angle, he wants to have that height, he wants to have that slim design, he wants to follow the curves a little bit of the car, so he wants a little bit of matching, matching with the front bar, and um, so in the end, he got it. As you can see, this is the size of the ledge that he could now drop off from when he's off-roading descending down rocks and that's good 31 inches of height mm. see this is the original rails that are under the Jeep under my Jeep here where Jason's ones they're all cut off now and um, and that's obviously the original plastic bumper and the height of that one um, compared to his is about 26 inches to the bottom of it and so basically that's five that's five about four or five inches five inches increase in, in in just height coming off a step and you're gonna hit the metal bar rather than ripping off the plastic um, also between the door and the edge there's good five inches there of um, of the stock bumper sticking out plus the tow hitch Jason doesn't need the tow hitch he's never used his so um, he completely removed it you can always add it back if you want to that's what these four bolts are were for and um, they're just here um, holding the rear bar onto the subframe a little bit more stronger so his bar protrudes two inches out which is a lot of clearance which means his departure angle has increased by a lot and he's got two recovery points and the way they're done as well is metal or frame missing underneath here so Mark has modified something welded onto the part of the existing subframe and, um, and bolted it all to that to make it extra strong Otherwise, it'll just be on the rear bar, which wasn't the idea. He's followed the lines nice and good, like we mentioned previously. Um, following the contours of the car's guards, and, and even, even where it sort of goes in, it also follows it. And he's got his rubber flares as well, going over that section, just to cover the tyres nice and neat. So it looks pretty good very well job done even the exhaust pipe has been trimmed now pointing downwards also the rear mud flap brackets incorporated into the bar here what I've got him to do on the bar is actually just build some um, removable uh, mud flap brackets so this is just the flap here, screwed straight to this fabricated arm, and then it's just a couple of bolts straight up to hold it in place. And the nuts have been welded up on the other side of the, the bracket, so it's just as simple as doing these two nuts up. There's one. So they're nice and easy. Take no more than probably about one minute each to get off on the tracks. 
and then put them back on for driving on the road. It's that simple. And the nice returns on the edges to give that added strength and proper finish. So while Mark had it in the shop up on the hoist, um, we got him to weld up the diff here. So just around here we've got a weld right around and also in here um, on both sides just to give the, the, the diff a lot more strength. You know, if this ever got caught up on anything there is the potential in a really nasty uh, situation you can twist the actual diff center there. So all that's been reinforced now as well. Looks so good. That's it. Simple as that.